Gluten has been getting a lot of attention lately, but going gluten-free can be very confusing. So joining us on Skype today is registered dietitian Rebecca Scritchfield. Rebecca, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited that you're here. So if gluten-free isn't a diet food, why are some people using it as such? Sure, so gluten is a protein that is found in wheat products. Mm. So breads, most cereals, pastas. Um, if you have been diagnosed with celiac disease, mm -hmm. then you are actually allergic to gluten. And the only treatment is to eliminate gluten 100% from the foods that you eat. I, I live in LA and there's a lot of people here that I hear they're doing it because they're trying to lose weight. So is gluten fattening? You know, gluten is not fattening. In fact, the gluten-free products, mm -hmm. they have calories and nutrients similar to the products that contain gluten. So there's nothing about it that is inherently fattening. Um, I just think that it's uh, maybe a trend that's going on that, that people are doing gluten-free for weight loss, but it's not necessarily uh, gonna work for you. Well, it doesn't sabotage our efforts to lose weight then if we're eating gluten at the same time. Why do some foods help us to lose weight and some don't that have gluten and then other ones that don't? You know. Gluten-free foods are not diet foods. Mm -hmm. And I think what's going on there, if I could uh, hypothesize, yes. is that if somebody is motivated to lose weight and you know they think gluten-free is going to work for them, um, they might be eating healthier overall. So they're eating more fruits and vegetables, foods that are naturally gluten-free. They're eating less pizza and burgers, foods that have gluten in it. <laughs> and so it's the healthy lifestyle change that they're making, not necessarily, oh, it's because I removed all gluten from my food. <laughs> that makes sense when you break it down like that. Thank you so much for letting me know that information. And remember everyone to consult your medical practitioner with your specific questions and comment and share your thoughts using the hashtag OwnShow. Want more hashtag OwnShow? Well, good. Click here or here for another episode. And don't forget to subscribe. It's really easy just by clicking here. What are you waiting for?